Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Check this out. We've got a brand new 2019 Dodge Ram truck that we're gonna be sharing with you guys here from none other than the man, Mitchell's Lawn Care. What's going on guys? It's an honor to be on the channel. Absolutely. Well guys, we're gonna do a quick little walk around here. A lot of you guys are big truck people and Mitchell just happened to pick up this brand new Dodge Ram just under a couple months ago. Oh yeah. And if you guys want to know how much it costs, we're going to walk you through the inside, the outside, and by the time we're done, we'll reveal just how much he paid for this beautiful truck. Complete breakdown. Alright guys, welcome back. Well, let's jump right into it. If you guys are new to the channel, we're all about helping you guys grow a more successful lawn and landscape business so you guys can go out there and crush it. We do that with product reviews, how-tos, daily vlogs, and I used to have a video series called Truck Talk Tuesday, and I thought while we're down here in beautiful Tampa, Florida, part of the green industry hype house, that you guys would want to see Mitchell's brand new beautiful truck while we got it here. So let's do a quick walk around. Mitchell, it's all you, bud. Take it away. Alrighty guys, so like uh, Brian has told you, uh, this is a 2019 Ram 2500 uh, 6.7 turbo diesel, the Cummins motor. Uh, I purchased this truck new in, and it was the summer to fall of 2019 and I wanted to, to get the night edition. What that means is they delete all the chrome, so all the badges all the way around the truck are blacked out with the black rims and inside the truck, which we can go in in a minute, uh, it's got some other little features uh, that go along with the night edition package um, Some things that I had to have with this truck would be the crew cab just for you know traveling pur uh, purposes and uh, bringing people with me whatever so had to have the crew cab uh, and there is a difference between the, the crew cab and the quad cab uh, Anybody that's not familiar with uh, Ram trucks the quad cab is a little bit smaller rear door if you see those around the uh, crew cab has actually got the full-size rear door. Okay. Um, coming back to the back, uh, I'm a huge supporter, proponent, and uh, of the eight-foot bed, which is the long bed. Um, uh, the code with the truck when you're looking at these, they refer to it as the LB for long bed. Okay. And uh, I had to have this because I always have a toolbox in the back, and then it gives me room uh, for activities. I joke on that, but anyway, <laughs> in the truck bed. I've got the Amp Research truck bed extender, and that just show you real quick. The uh, tailgate drops down. It is what I would call like a soft open. I like that. And then this flips over, just like so. Whoa. All right. And then you can secure it down with these straps, which I'm not going to go through, but you can secure the uh, extender down with these little straps right here. And it extends the bed even further for whatever purposes you may need. So really really cool tool to have and this easily comes out if need be and then it's not in the truck bed check that out all right that's, uh, that's sweet people so, love that yeah and i do got to say i love the blacked out lights i love the blacked out uh, logos all part of the night edition um it's got the the backup camera which nowadays that, that's not even really an option it's almost standard and if i'm not mistaken i think it's it's regulated by the government now that all new vehicles have to have backup cameras there you go um this one is equipped i spec it with the the backup sensors on the back it is such a such a big truck uh it does help to you know aid from hitting things and it being as long as it is the crew cab long bed i've got to you know back this thing in and pull this thing in a lot closer than normal vehicles just so i'm not like you know taking up multiple parking spaces or sticking out in the street like we are here you'll come around on this side it may be hard to see but something that i do like with the ram trucks and i'm not really familiar with the fours or the chevys um, but uh, they have gone from leaf springs to a uh, coal spring option on these that does help with the the ride quality um, these trucks ride really really well what do you think about the uh, the mirrors how do you like the mirrors that's a big question i know we get it, for our ram is. fans now, this is the thing it's kind of the uh the the love it or or hate it those that don't own the rams sometimes make fun of these things because they uh they think that they look like uh beavis from beavis and butthead when right. he's doing the uh you know the cornholio yep. uh, thing but they are excellent when it comes time to towing and i use this truck to tow my eight and a half by 20 foot enclosed trailer so there i mean there's yeah they do stick out far but it lets you see what you need to see so i love these mirrors some guys they look funny but i'm so used to them i don't i don't even look at them like that but really love these mirrors and they do have an option to fold down yeah. if you don't want them up in the, the tow 
position. Well, Mitchell, I gotta tell you, uh, absolutely beautiful looking truck on the exterior, uh, but I think the Rams are definitely shining as well on the interior. You wanna jump inside and show these guys what it looks we like can inside? Do that. I'll hop in on the driver's side. You wanna come in over here? Let's do it, bud. You guys see those running boards? Not too bad. So yeah, those are the the amp research side steps that are automatic. Yep. And uh, I could have demonstrated it, but they do have a feature on it to where if you've got children or elderly passengers, or even yourself, if you slip getting out of the vehicle and you get caught between the side step and the truck and the door gets shut, there's a sensor that won't allow that side step to, to oh, close wow. on you. So pretty pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Especially if you're a family person, you know. Exactly. Look at this interior dash though. I'll tell you guys, for just a quick second, uh, I've not personally been a big Ram fan, a uh, big Chrysler person, but I will tell you what, I've seen uh, these new Dodge Rams the last couple years at the auto show. And uh, when they came out with this new heads up display, the 12 inch, 12.1 inch. It, and this one's actually 11. 11 inches. 11 inch display. It, it's absolutely beautiful. It, it looks like one of the best interiors of any front uh, of a truck that I've seen in the last few years. And so walk us through, what do we got going on here? A lot of, a lot of bells and whistles. There are. Um, there's a reason why I spec a Bighorn instead of the Laramie or Limited. Um, and I don't have to go into all those details, but there was, you know, like I didn't want certain things that come standard on those trucks. Mm. But I did highly spec this Bighorn. Uh, one, I'm being the sunroof above us. Uh, I've always loved sunroofs, you know, especially on those like beautiful spring and fall days. So I definitely love the sunroof. Uh, the the thing that brian just hinted at the 11 inch display was a must have uh that i can turn on and show you it's got all kinds of you know wicked cool stuff that you can do with it and get that beeping out of the way um satellite radio lets you control uh the you know climate control navigation it brings the navigation up into a a, a full screen um so pretty pretty neat set up right there all the tow features and things like that um yeah that's legit pretty much it like leather wrapped steering wheel i'm really proud of these seats these, yeah. are, the, these are the carhartt seat covers that i had custom embroidered from my buddy back home clint okay so we just said to, in the, just to personalize it i sat in the back on the way to uh the meetup yesterday super comfortable back there no complaints and oh yeah plenty of leg room now you what do you got the cloth the leather uh vinyl seats which ones you got these are the cloth seats okay uh, i'm i don't like leather i know a lot of guys out there do uh, but I, I didn't want leather, so that's another reason why I opted for the, the Bighorn interior. Yeah. Uh, I knew that I was going to get seat covers anyway, so I didn't really want to go to the expense of a leather interior if I knew I was going to cover the seats anyways. Mm. Um, and these Carhartt seat covers, or anybody that knows anything about Carhartt, they're good. Know, their, their material is like bulletproof. Yeah, that's the, the ones uh, to go with. So it's, it's a high quality. They're not cheap, but you get what you pay for. Well, you know, uh, one thing that people want to know besides the uh, the price of the uh, truck is, right? The big Cummins engine. Cummins engine. Cummins engine. You want to crank that thing up? We can. Let me jump on out. Let me start. Let's start this thing up. Oh, oh, oh. So, this is the 6.7 liter uh, Cummins diesel. There's really not too much to see under here. Um, everything gets covered up these days. This is the uh, turbo diesel by Cummins. It's uh, got right at a thousand foot pounds of torque, so wow. she's strong enough to pull all day long and pretty much anything that this vehicle is rated to tow. Um, something I did want to hit on here is I spec this truck with the LED uh, headlights and tail lights and I'm, I'm assuming right now by Brian showing that it might be flickering uh, a based little on bit. the frame rate of the camera, but there's nothing wrong with the lights. Uh, it's just what the cameras do with LED lights, and it's kind of above my expertise yeah, with the technology. The frequency with the uh, flux capacitor. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah. how it goes. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, Beautiful truck, Mitchell. Sensors across the front, just like in the back. You know, if you get close to anything, the sensors will go off. The, the P 
even in the interior to keep you from hitting anything. Absolutely. So, well, here, let's. It's been uh, a beautiful shot. You can shut it off. Yeah, let's shut that off, and then uh, we want to wrap this up with uh, final pricing and just some different numbers. First off, I got to tell you guys. Um, a lot of you guys are looking to grow your lawn and landscape business and if you're watching this channel it's a lawn care landscaping youtube channel we're trying to help you guys grow more successful lawn and landscape businesses and you guys know that i spec'd out a pretty nice truck owner operator i live in my truck i know mitchell's uh kind of in the exact same boat uh he runs a career as a state highway patrol uh successful career successful lawn and landscape uh, landscape company for the last six or seven years so he's made a couple bucks along the way. This isn't necessarily your first lawn care landscaping truck, right? Sure so as heck wasn't mine. Let's just call the elephant out in the room. But, uh, and this wasn't his first truck by any means. We were just talking about his last few trucks over the last few years and uh, which ones he had and which things he liked, things he didn't like. But this is a gift to himself. This is a kind of going all in. And so he wanted to get his baby and I'm all about you guys getting your dream truck just like Mitchell got his. So um, you want to break down any pricing, any numbers? We, we appreciate the transparency, yeah, but. So, uh, of course, right here, I've got the uh, the window sticker uh, for this truck, the 2500 Binghorn uh, Crew Cab 4x4 Long Box, which is a long bed pickup truck. Uh, base price of 45.4, mm -hmm. and then as spec, uh, a total price of 68.5. Of course, out the door pricing, taxes, and everything uh, pushed it over 70. So we can say, you know, less than 75,000. It is a lot, but like Brian hinted at, this was by no means my first pickup truck. Um, I started my lawn care business with a Chevy Suburban that had about 180,000 miles on it that I bought for like seven grand. Right. Um, so it took many years to be able to get to a point where I could afford something like this. So it's a present to myself, you know, for, for all the hard work yeah. that I put forward for the last 11 years. And it's, it's my personal truck and my work truck. So it serves a dual purpose, but you know, full transparency, we know these trucks aren't cheap, especially, you know, diesel 4x4, um, 2,500, 3,500 trucks. They're not cheap, um, but but that's it. So, yeah, it was uh, less than 75000 Hey, I'll tell you what, man. 75000 bucks ain't too bad for a, a nice truck with a diesel these days. We, we all talked about that on my uh, one of my last videos that I said uh, my three-year review on my F250. But I'll tell you what, if I'm looking at trucks in the future, I love my Fords. I love my F250s. You guys know that. But I will tell you this, we got a foreman, we got another guy working for us, and I don't know if we need to go all in like this, but the new Dodge Rams are looking pretty nice. And I've ne I'm honest right now, I've never considered a Chrysler ever in my life, but once I saw these debut about two years ago at the auto show, I said Ram is making one of the most masculine looking trucks. The interior is just incredible. Um, it's really making me look at them really hard especially if we need to pick up a new truck for the fleet. So I do want to add something. Yes. Because I know the the pros and cons at what people comment about Ram trucks, because we all know the great Ford Ram and Chevy, Chevy debate. debate. Yes, okay, sir. we all know that. And we're not trying to get into that with this video here. Uh, but, you know, your viewers and, and subscribers may say, oh, you know, Ram's transmissions are unreliable. Um, Ram has the high output option that you can spec this Ram with a high output uh, Cummins diesel. Um, and what that does is it just gives you a little bit more horsepower, a little bit more foot pounds than this truck has. And they also give you a, I don't know the actual codes because uh, I don't have that transmission in this truck, uh, but they do spec it with a, like a beefier heavy duty uh, transmission. Um, so for guys that say that, that their transmissions are unreliable, yeah. um, that's not the case. I've had several of these trucks, even 3,500 dualies, and I have had zero issues. I'm a firm believer in if you take care of it, it's gonna take care of you. And that's what I do with my baby girl. I love it, man. Well, hey, you know, in the future, if uh, anybody knows anybody at Dodge, we're just having fun. <laughs> because you know why? We need a Brian Stanford truck, say, man. We, hey, got it, we got it for everything else. My gift card, too, can go with this. There you go, bud. Well, hey, if you guys wanna go over to Mitchell's Lawn Care YouTube channel, check out his videos, check out his channel. He's a great dude in the lawn and landscape community. And uh, while we're down here, I don't know if it's still uh, timely, but we were laughing on a podcast earlier today. We said, hey, $25 gift card to somebody who leaves a comment down below. So that's the question on this one, I guess. Leave a comment down below. We need a name for the truck. We need a name for Mitchell's truck. It's absolutely beautiful. But I said, what's the name of the truck? And he said, my girl said Casper. And I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. we need like Thor or Titan or something crazy cool. So I don't know if you guys got some great names for the trucks, leave it down below. Do you guys have a Dodge Ram 2500? Do you guys have maybe this package? I love to hear your guys' thoughts sincerely because I don't know, we'll see what happens when I get back diagnosing my Ford F250 with that gear wrench light. Um, I'm not saying I'm swapping out the truck, but 
I do not see lights on hey, the dash. He, he would look good in a Ram, you know it. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys, well, Mitchell Long here on YouTube. We'll leave a little uh, link in the description. Go check out his channel. He's got a lot of great content, lawnmowers, trucks, building the shop, building the house, and plus, he's just a great guy. So, Mitch, thanks for taking uh, the time to be on the it, show. Buddy. Thank you, man. All right, guys. Thank you all. We'll catch up with you here on the next one.